A recent article on lifehack.org says behind every successful marriage are two people who have done some tremendous things before deciding they're ready to take the next step. They suggest couples create a must-do bucket list before popping the question. I just cannot wait to hear you guys' thoughts on this one. Ladies, should couples create a premarital bucket list before getting married, and what should be on that list? I don't know if they should create it. I mean, I think that's really mature if you actually want to sit down and do that together so you can hear what the other wants to experience so that yeah. you'll know if they really are. You know, if your significant other is like, I want to sleep with as many women as I can before I want to get married. How about you're not ready to get married. You don't How about you're that. not ready to get married. But, but you want to hear it. You know what I mean? You want to hear those things. But I don't know if couples can really do that. But I do think that every person should experience some level of their life before marriage, before getting married. For sure. And you agree. always are gonna think about it somehow. And yeah. that's not fair to the other person. It used to be called sowing your oats. Boom. That's what it but is. But does that only mean sexually? It could mean a lot Anything. of things. Okay. Career. I didn't know that. So it yeah. I've only known it for sexually. Yeah, but no. I've had friends that's yeah. like, no, you like travel, you go different places. Right. For sure. yes. That's what I was gonna say. Different things. Yes. yes. Yeah. I would say travel, I would say, you know, have as much as you want prior. Mm -hmm. I would also say, spend time alone. Like if you're leaving your mom's alone. house and going straight to a marriage, yes. spend some time alone. I love that. And yeah. dating. Sometimes I, I, I know there's couples where it's worked, but I get nervous when couples get married early and they haven't really dated. Yes. Like they oh, married yeah. their they married the first person they ever dated. Yeah. I you don't actually know what you want or what you require yes. in a relationship because you've never yes. gotten a chance to experience. Yeah. I, I always say that like, Sometimes the greatest things that I love about my husband actually were things that I loved in other people that I dated. Like, oh. I feel like he's the perfect accumulation, and I don't know if that's the right word, of all the greatest things that I loved about people. Yeah. But I wouldn't know that unless I had that experience. Right. I wouldn't know I like a guy right. that's like this. I wouldn't know I, I like the super romantic. I wouldn't right. know that. You. Yeah. Right. you get what I mean? Unless yeah. I had those experiences. Also, you learn about yourself through yeah. dating. Yeah. yeah. So that what do you like? What don't person, you like? Right, exactly. Yeah. I know. I actually also know that if you have had just like casual sex and then you've had the real thing where it's a meaningful, intense, emotional relationship, you realize that casual sex ain't really all that. You yeah. know what I mean? You have it enough that you're like, okay, you can have that anytime. So you need to have that to know that. Because sometimes yeah. when you're married, you'll wonder about that. And that's not safe either. Yeah. 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 yeah you taught definitely. me to do something awesome. And it was prior to getting married. I made a list of all of the things that I felt were like worst case scenario, yes. big things that really mattered to me. Yes. Guys, like questions like asking my husband, if our child is gay, yeah. how will we handle, like guys, like think about the big things wow. that could possibly cause you. If you guys lost everything, you were homeless. If we were homeless, yeah. if we had a child that had special needs, right. how would we handle that sort of thing? Like think of things that, I know that I couldn't marry somebody who was gonna say they disowned their child. Like, there's like big, yeah, I mean, yeah, like those religion, are big religion, religion, yeah. religion fine, yeah. we had yeah. a financial, kind of a whole thing. So, this was Jeannie's suggestion. We wrote an entire list of like really yes. big, important things that, that would make a huge difference on how the rest of our life would be. Yeah. And I yeah. told you that because I didn't do it in my relationship and I learned the hard way through divorce that that's what I should have done. You brought. know what's really interesting? I found these uh, playing cards that has questions mm -hmm. that you can do, couples can do, or if you're I just dating like or girlfriend. So good. So some of the questions come up and you're like, wow, I never would have thought of that. And that way you get to hear the person's response, nice. sort of like what you did. Yeah. Pretty good. Nice. So important.